Well, hey friends, it is December 14th. It is a Wednesday and we are in the midst of a lot of snow. It has been quite a morning around here already. It's not even yet 930. Um, and we have run the gamut of emotions and we have run the gamut of situations. And it has been a morning where I have been extremely challenged in my mothering, in my response, in all the things. And <laughs> I'm thinking, can we just get all of this over with before, before 9.30, before the next 10 minutes hits? Um, we kind of, the path, yesterday I guess it started, we just keep going around the same mountains with Aubrey. Some, just some of the same issues over and over and over again. And that terrain is rocky. It's a frustrating walk. I want to jump off the mountain some days. And it's frustrating. It's just frustrating. And I know that all of us as adults, um, we deal with struggles over and over and over again, the same issues. Um, it's hard to be a parent and parenting your child through that. And all of the ugly and all of the response that it brings up in me as a mother has been overwhelming to me. Um, because I, I just, I get shocked at myself for how I respond in some things. And it just is refining. Um, to continually have all of that garbage being pulled out of myself and um, trying to get rid of it. So, anyways, it's been quite the morning. Um, we, sorry, we have uh, Aubrey's um, Christmas program today at school. I haven't had my coffee yet. Can you tell? I can't. My voice is like, uh, and. My thoughts are scattered, but um, we have Aubrey's Christmas program at school. It starts at uh, 11.30. We're going to leave here around 11, maybe a little bit before, um, because her school's very small, and they actually divide the Christmas program up into two days, so families with the last name A through L go today, and tomorrow M through Z go tomorrow. Um, and so that is us today. We are heading out. I'll show you outside so you can get a glimpse of what I'm looking at. So this isn't really showing up, but it is really snowing out. Um, the roads are snow packed and white. And I just recently heard a fire fire engine or police car screaming on by. Maybe it was the ambulance. I'm not really sure. Some emergency vehicle went screaming by, so I don't like to drive and stuff like this. Shane and I were in a really bad car accident when we were, for, we were first married, and we were going very slow, not even 35 miles an hour, and it was a 360 rollover, and it was crazy. So anyways, since having children, I've been nervous. I get, I get nervous to drive in the snow, and I'm from the snow belt in Pennsylvania, so snow is no big deal to me. Um, I always grew up with snow. Thank you, buddy. Um, we'll pick up the papers. The papers? Yeah, pick up your coloring books. Um, so, in attempting to get ready today, my curling iron would not heat up at all. And so I just had this vision of how my hair would look. And so I'd use, I had a second curling iron, and that didn't work either. And so I had to use my Numi wand, and I don't like it. Um, I tried to sell it as soon as I bought it. I don't like the kinky curls. It's a small barrel, and um, having my hair down, it looked stupid, and it looks stupid up. So <laughs> I'm not a fan of my hairdo today. Um, I'd probably throw it up all together, but we got our program, and I threw my hair up in a mom bun. Just, just ain't going to be working for wanting to be nice looking for her program so um anyways that's where I'm at let me show you this mess that my husband left me so all of these dishes except the red cup and the cookie sheet because I cut out my cookies last night all of these dishes including the ones that are under the cookie rack and these here in the sink these are all my husband's lunch dishes 
from the past, oh, I don't know, like what, two weeks maybe? And yours truly has been left with this mess to clean up. I mean, it's so annoying. It's so annoying. So, anyways. Sorry. Um, I feel like we need to chat about Vlogmas because it's falling apart on my end. My internet is basically non-existent still. Um, I've been trying to upload Saturday, Saturday's vlog since Saturday. And I got it all uploaded last night and I was so excited and then I played it back through and somewhere along between saving the music um, on my editing program, which is just free Windows Movie Maker, the music shifted and the music shifted over where I'm speaking in like a really serious part of the vlog and I wanted to spit. I was so mad because... It was ruined because there's another point where there's music and that got screwed up as well and I was so mad. It was quarter after 11 and I said this is for the birds so I resaved it. Oh, my neighbor's tent just caved in. Oh. Um, I resaved it and I'm re-uploading now and it's still, even though it's been uploading now for almost 12 hours, still at 61%. I've got another vlog I'm trying to upload as well. Um, and I, my, my vlogs are falling apart. So last night I got so ticked that I said, I gotta stop this. Um, it's not that I've had any issues with vlogging because I really enjoy it. I love the creative process of putting videos together, but I'm so far behind with uploading that we're going to be in January before you see my whole month. So, um, I've just decided that I will pick up the camera every now and then throughout the month to share with you different things because selfishly I want these videos for myself. Like I enjoy, um, having these memories of my family and there are certain things that I know that I've wanted to film all along, but, um, just trying to get everything uploaded is not working and also the other really frustrating thing is is that we don't have a DVD player so I have to use my HDMI cord from my TV or no I'm sorry I have to edit on my laptop but if I want to watch a Christmas movie in the evening which is like Christmas to me no 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 um just trying to get the cookies mm. Yeah. Um, anyways, if I'm if I want to watch a Christmas movie, I can't because I'm on my laptop, and I have to watch a movie via my HDMI cable connected to my laptop to get it to play on the TV because we don't have a DVD player. All that to say, I'm I'm just putting a pause on Vlogmas. Um, I failed. I think I failed Vlogadays or Vlogamay or I don't remember what it's called when I vlogged in March um, for sort of the same reasons. Slow upload time it has nothing to do with anything other than that, um, and so it's been really, it's kind of really disappointing to me. Um, but I'm still going to put out some videos because there are things that I want to film and things I want to share, and we have a special surprise for Aubrey on Christmas that I'll certainly be sharing, um, and we're going to try to ream out our internet provider in a very nice way um, to try and get service established and yeah so that's kind of where we're at today so it's a whole lot of not fun stuff so we're gonna hope this day gets a lot better I am going to make myself a good breakfast lots of coffee and I'm gonna have some quiet time because I'm feeling like my spirit really needs to just be in the word and I need to do some praying and um, get myself centered because when I have not done that, like really, the small annoyances and irritations of life turn into something so much bigger. Like this hair. It's gonna be big. I gotta fluff it up a bit more. So hopefully you guys are having a good day and I will turn we will turn this day around. It'll be a whole lot better. So I gotta get this kid a granola bar. He is freaking out for one, so on we go.
so that accident, um, or the, the sirens that I heard were for an accident. Um, it's a four car pile up at this one stretch of, oh, I found something weird looking. Um, it's a four car pile up in this stretch of area that is extremely deadly. Um, I don't know why it is because it's, it shouldn't be, but a handful of people die on this stretch of road every single year. Um, I had started a vlog for Sunday. I ended up not, I edited it together, but I didn't end up posting it. Whoa, well, I'm holding eggs. Just partly due to my upload schedule and being so behind and it wasn't all that interesting. But anyways, all that to say, Sunday I had to drive through that stretch of road. And I was awfully nervous and I was talking about how I was nervous because a handful of people die every year on this stretch and um, it's just a notorious spot for people dying. It's not on a curve. It's a bit like on a bit of a, a hill but really it's not even anything um, and it really is a mystery to people around here why it's just notorious for there being accidents. So anyways, I have to get a hold of my sister-in-law and tell her um, she might not want to come out this way because she has to go through that area and they are not letting traffic into our city. Uh, so I gotta let her know that there is a back way to come, but again, that's even that's even worse. This road is a four lane road um, and usually maintained a lot better as far as like plowing than the back way, um, which is still a highway, but it's a two lane highway. Well, one lane, I guess. You know, one on each side. So that's where we're at now. Um, I myself am feeling already like nervous and some anxiety, I guess, about driving out. Uh, to her school today, I just, I, it freaks me out a bit, so, um, we'll figure, we'll figure it out, um, the good news is, is that there is always tomorrow, and I shouldn't go tomorrow, because my name, last name doesn't start with those letters, but, um, we'll see, I'll keep you posted. Hey. Who are you? Yes. <laughs> Are you sharp tooth? No. Who are you? Yeah, those are cookies. See? Those are our cookies, but we have to frost them. Yeah, they're not ready to be eaten yet. These are my cookie cutters. So I keep my cookie cutters in these two shoe boxes up in the very top of my baking cupboard. Um, I do have a video on how I organize this. This is my cookie press right here, and those are the plates for it. Uh, they usually live up in that white bin. I need to get a chair out and put them away, but I actually want to make more spritz cookies, so I haven't yet. Um, but that's my baking cupboard, and so I have lots of cookie cutters, because I used to collect them. But funny enough, I am missing a lot of Christmas type cookie cutters. I don't have a snowman. I don't have a Santa. I don't have a candy cane. Um, I, yeah, I'm missing a lot. So in the, all of these, I have only a handful of Christmas ones. So that's on my radar to get this Christmas. So lots of chitty chatting this morning. Um, but I did talk with my sister-in-law and my father-in-law is going to drive her out and, um, they have a car seat installed in his, um, truck. So We'll just stick Colt in the car seat, and we'll go, he'll, my father-in-law will drive. I trust him. He's um, a really great driver, and he's got an awesome truck. We've got a good truck, too, but he's a really awesome driver behind the wheel. I'm a good driver, too. I've never gotten in an accident. I just, my anxiety. And as you can tell, I feel a lot better at this moment, um, thinking that, A, we will be there, and B, someone else will be driving, so happy about that. We have one hour before uh, we need to leave. Not even an hour. So I'm going to finish breakfast here, which is always really quick. It's just some fried eggs and turkey bacon. And then I'll go ahead and get Colt ready. He gets ready fairly quickly as well. Fluff up my hair a bit and we'll be on our way. Yeah, you're going to have some bacon. So I'm sitting here um, reading my Bible and I decided took up some verses on grace because I need to extend a lot of grace to people in my life and I need a lot of grace. Um, 
And so I was looking up verses in the concordance in my Bible, or the subject topics in my Bible about grace. And the very first set of verses was Nehemiah 9, 28 through 31. And the footnote on my Bible is just one thing that really um, kind of struck me. So I'm going to turn around and show you what it said. Okay, so it says, um, yeah, buddy, God puts no limit on the number of times we can come to him to obtain mercy, but we must come in order to obtain it, recognizing our need and asking for help. This miracle of grace should inspire us to say, you are a gracious and merciful God. And that was part of my struggle today was that I have just, I just wanted to stay in my anger and I did not want to extend grace and I certainly didn't even want grace for myself. I was just so angry and so mad. And um, that key word, I mean, it's even italicized, come. Like, I have to come and ask for that that hand of mercy to cover me because I, I am in the wrong. Um, and then this next part really hit me. And it says, if there is a recurring problem or difficulty in your life, continue to ask God for help and be willing and ready to make changes in your attitude and behavior that will correct the situation. I mean, just the poignancy of that is just, it hits my heart. Like, God, like, just completely blows my mind. Sorry for the noise. Um, just completely blows my mind in meeting me exactly where I'm at every single time. And especially this week, my eyes um, have just been so open to his tender care and mercy because when I just start to want to pull away and be frustrated and angry and um, not do what I'm supposed to do, what I know is right in my heart to do um, and act completely opposite of that, the Lord just continues to open up my mind and to put things in front of my path that just speak directly to what I'm facing and feeling and it just he's a good father he is a good father and wow it's good so I'd like to stay continuing reading but we really are running out of time so um, I, I think the very first verse is something that I'm going to be meditating on all day long and sinking into my spirit and praying on and continue that continued refinement of removing the garbage in my heart just to be more like him so that's where I'm at it's all about grace people because I'm not perfect and I fall apart way too easy and I need I need God's grace to cover me Okay, so here's what I'm wearing. Um, this is a new top from Old Navy. It's kind of a berry color. This scarf is from the Dollar Tree. Let's see if I can... <laughs> this is weird. Filming backwards. And there's little snowmen on it and snowman heads and snowflakes and candy canes. Um, this was from last year. And then this watch is new and it is from Michael's. And then just my navy pants and so for the face that's how it looks this lipstick is from unique I don't remember the name of it I'll see if in editing I can put it in and then just these little green earrings so that's what I'm looking like for the thing <laughs>
while we're home. <laughs> I'm a little out of breath. It is freezing out. It is minus 12 Celsius. But with the wind chill, it feels like minus 22. Um, and my front door froze. Good thing I found out about it before I left. Um, like the lock will often freeze and you can't even get your key in it. So that's what happened. Um, and that wasn't good, but it's all good. Oh, look at the mess. I had a mess to clean up. Um, the program was so cute. Um, I'll, I'm going to insert a little clip of it. It is now about 1.30. We went to McDonald's for lunch and had a really yeah. nice time. Yeah, we had lunch. Yeah, we had lunch. Yeah. Hello. I'm here. Yeah. Do you need some help? Yeah. Okay. Take off your boot. Okay, don't Here. Yeah, unzip. Um, I gotta get this little gaffer down for his nap. He's very late, but the little fella needs one, so we're gonna go do that. And I'm gonna change into my comfy clothes, wait, and I'm going wait, to... Wait, What? You gotta hang up your coat, please. Hang up your coat. Um, I am going to clean up my kitchen and put on some Christmas music and enjoy the day. Um, I need to really tidy up the kitchen and the table and fold some laundry and all of that jazz, but it is... Oh my gosh! Rabbit trail! Okay. So you know how I was telling you about how awful the roads and stuff were? Oh my goodness. So my sister-in-law Sarah and my father-in-law came and so they took the back way to get here. And the back way is just a normal highway road. They said that there were people in the ditch like everywhere. And there were people that had slid off the road and they passed like a couple like accidents. Um, and then on our way home just now, we went through, um, it was, it just turned yellow right before we got to the stoplight. And so my father-in-law went through because the roads are just glare ice underneath the snow. And um, so he went through and in his rearview mirror, he saw that the person behind him um, had to like veer into the side, um, not in the ditch, but like veered right. <laughs> um, and then the vehicle behind, I'm not sure if they hit, but there was a situation there and someone else um, had some sort of something. I don't know if they, um, they were sideways. And then at another point when we were coming home, um, we were at a stop sign and the person who pulled in behind us um, had to turn on, a si on their side as well because they were almost slid right into us. So it was crazy, 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 crazy. So I'm glad I didn't drive and there's people, I have told you, like <laughs> drivers in this town are terrible, terrible. If you go like super slow, you're going to be fairly fine. Um, there was, you know, ice and stuff at the stop signs and whatnot, but if you're going like microscopically slow, somehow you can seem to stop ahead of time and I don't know. It was crazy, but we were safe and we were home and Aubrey will be home in about an hour and a half and I'm going to pray for Shane that he gets home okay. Um, he has quite a ways to go and he's on a few highways and it's not that great and his car is a bit of a beater. He was going to take the truck today, but... I was going to need it, so I wish he'd been able to. So, Anyways, that's the update for now. I gotta get this little guy to bed. So it is a little after six. The Quilty's going to get a bath. I'm just kind of finishing um, the, what do you call it, <laughs> the dishes. Um, I wanted to share with you, my friend Melissa stopped by and she brought us um, a couple goodies. I'll show you them. Funny thing though, not funny at all really, but on her way over here, she lives about five minutes away and um, at one of the major intersections there was an accident. Uh, a vehicle was, I think she said on its roof. Um, it's a crazy, crazy, crazy accident filled day. So 
I think she must have got where she was going okay because I haven't heard anything different. Um, but I want to share with you what she um, brought over. So first is some, uh, she calls it nuts and bolts. This is um, kind of like Chex Mix, but I think it, it's got, um, I think it might be a different different flavoring. I'm not 100%. I know she said it's garlicky and I'm so anxious to eat this tonight. I always make Chex Mix for Christmas, um, but we I can't get the Chex Mix stuff here in Canada. There's three cereals that I need. I can get one. Obviously, you can see one right there. Um, but I don't get the three cereals that um, are in the traditional recipe. So anyways, I'm going to watch White Christmas tonight, and I'm going to have some of this as a snack. So I'm really excited. And then she gave me this beautiful Christmas card. I loved, like, the glitter here. Uh, I don't know if that's washi or if it's an actual... It might just be a sticker, but it's beautiful. Um... And then this gorgeous Christmas card. So beautiful. And then the whole reason she came over was because she was, Aubrey is getting her ears pierced for her birthday. And Melissa um, had this pair. Yeah. And Melissa got this free pair of earrings from a uh, boutique shop. And she thought they were more child size. So she wanted to gift them to Aubrey. And they, oh dear, it's not really showing up that well. I don't have a really great camera. But they're pearls, and they're kind of um, pinky gray. So, of course, Aubrey will have to wear, you know, just the traditional, like, piercing um, earrings for a while. But when she's ready to switch, she has that option as well. So it's